it's Morgan, welcome back to my channel. What have I been watching lately? Well, I have been watching a few shows. First off, I've been keeping up with Once Upon a Time, which is my current probably favorite show that's airing. I know it's not the best show, the special effects are kind of cringeworthy sometimes, but I just love what this show has done in taking traditional fairy tale stories and making them dark and light and like bringing them into the modern world. It was just such a cool concept to begin with. And I really like where this show is going. I enjoy seeing the actors get better. I did not particularly like Emma as a character to start with, but I love what the recent seasons have been doing with her. Regina is of course amazing. I've liked her from day one, but she just gets better and better. And she's really the reason I keep watching the story. Like now and then, I mean, I think the writing for the most part is good. Like I put it at a solid, you know, maybe four stars, the writing the whole time. But um, occasionally you get a really bad episode or two, but then, I always, I just stick with it and then, you know, one or two episodes, not so great. And whenever I get to that point where I'm like, you know what, I'm not really gonna watch the show. They write an amazing episode, like the end of, I don't know, the Neverland arc. I forget which season that was, but that whole, I just love that with Regina and the whole home concept and Regina and Henry's storyline. So I was concerned with what they were doing with bringing back a character that we thought was dead, but I like how they're, you know, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. If not, I'm trying to avoid season six spoilers for anyone that might have stopped earlier. Um, I like how they are making it out to be now when he's not exactly the same person. That is, that is good. I like um, Hook and Emma. I am interested to see where the relationship goes. And the end of the most recent episode, I don't know when this video goes up, if it's the same or not, but the end of this episode ended with that big climactic charming and hook moment where you thought everything was all sweet and then it kind of like threw that thing at you with Hook and his past and I just, that was that, uh, I just want to talk to someone about that because I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. All right, on to new shows. I have been watching Legion. Now Legion is an X-Men based show and I love X-Men. It is probably in my top three fandoms, if not my favorite fandom. Um, Legion is based on a story arc that's actually one of my least favorite X-Men story arcs, so I was a little concerned about that, but the trailers make it look cool. Although I have to say, marketing people, I'm not sure you did the best job with Legion because it doesn't really look like a superhero show and that's what it is. Like I like that it's new and it's different and it's fresh and it has this whole psychological twist but it's still for superheroes and I think if they made that more clear, more people would have watched it. Anyway, I feel like the best way to describe Legion would be a Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. meets Jessica Jones, but with mutants from the X-Men, X-Men mutants. So it's really hard to explain the premise of Legion without giving away spoilers because you figure it out as it goes. So I might give spoilers for the first episode, but I will try to avoid it from later on. And I will tell you that it's one of those shows that you just have to have faith that it's going to explain itself later and so far it's done a good job of that. Like at the end of episode one, I was kind of like, what's going on? And then by the end of episode two, I was like, now I know. And if you've read the comics, you'll have more information, but you still won't have all of it because there's new characters that they um, have added in with superpowers that you might not know about. And so it kind of, you, it's hard to predict the story when you don't know things because they're brand new and they're made up just for the show. So I'm really interested to see where that's going. It definitely has, like I said, an agent of, of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s Jessica Jones. It's not quite as dark as Jessica Jones. Um, it's darker and heavier than the X-Men movies, lighter than Logan, but darker than the other like traditional X-Men movies. And I'm just really interested to see whether David becomes a hero or a villain because his comic book characters very complex and the show character is definitely likable. I also really like the girl, I forget her name, but um, his love interest in the show so far. She's pretty cool. In other terms of new shows, after watching Once Upon a Time, uh, this show called Time After Time came on ABC and it doesn't look like my normal type of show. It's the one where H.G. Wells and Jack the Ripper come to the future, uh, to our time, through H.G. Wells' time machine. And then, you know, obviously they're trying to stop Jack the Ripper. But I watched the first two episodes and I didn't even intend to watch it. It just came on TV and I was like, let me watch it for like 15 minutes. I'll give it a try because I thought it had a really interesting premise, but the trailer made it look like it wasn't that good of a movie. So, or show. So I watched it. It has a very like Warehouse 13, maybe BBC Merlin feel to it. Like one of those historical 
dramas where they're not trying to be accurate at all, but it's still really cool and it's kind of funny and it's exciting and it's action-packed. So not a five-star show, but definitely interesting. I like the acting, I like the characters, so I'm probably gonna keep watching that. And if you are an H.G. Wells fan or just a fan of like, what if crazy weird scenarios, it's pretty cool. I like that perspective. I don't know how they're gonna keep it up for a whole season. Like it's gotta be contained, I think. I'm not sure if it's a miniseries or what, but I'm, it's interesting so far, but it's gonna be hard to keep that up. I've also been watching Voltron, which is new for me, but I think it's been out for about a year. I'm about six episodes into Voltron and I like it so far. I, it's a very action-packed anime. There's nothing in it that's new or fresh or exciting, which was kind of disappointing because I was hoping for something like that. But the characters are pretty interesting. The story's pretty good, so you know, it's a it's a good show. I feel like that's what I have to say about all of these. All of these are pretty good shows. Maybe not amazing, although I have high hopes for Legion. I'm hoping it'll end up being one of my favorite shows. It's not quite there yet but I do have hopes. So that's what I've been watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have watched any of these. If not, what have you been watching lately? And if you have any show recommendations for me, let me know. I don't know what kind of shows I like. I'm kind of all over the place. I loved Gotham, but I have I need to catch up with that. I don't know. Is the new 24 any good? Because I used to be a really big fan of the old 24, but I have not given the new one a chance because there's not gonna be a Tony Almeida or Michelle Dessler and those two, they're my OTP, okay? My OTP. And you know, then there's Jack Bauer, but who really cared about him, right? All right, well, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.